Audacity is a good audio editor, and it's also free and open source, and it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And in Stranger Ways, we used it for recording all of the album Strangers at the Gate. But since then, we've switched to using Reaper, which is not free, but it is cross-platform, and it's pretty cheap, and it's a very good audio editor, and, and more importantly, a very good audio recording tool. And uh, I'm going to show you how to convert an Audacity project into Reaper format. So first thing I have here, I've got the track Always 17 off of the album Strangers at the Gate. And I'm just going to open it up in Audacity here. And here it is. My grandpa says he's only 17. Okay, so that's how that sounds. And... I'm going to convert it into Reaper format so I can do the final edit and mix down on it. Um, however, there and it, it's pretty easy to do it. If you export, Audacity has a built-in export multiple feature. In the file menu, if you pull it down, you see export multiple towards the bottom. It's pretty easy to do that, but if you try to do it just like this, you'll find out that you have a problem, which is that Audacity doesn't export each track starting at the beginning of the audio. It exports it starting at wherever the audio on that track begins. So for example, if I were to export the Susan track here, the audio would actually start 6.15 seconds in. And this is going to be a problem if we're trying to convert that into Reaper format or any other audio editor for that matter for editing because uh, the other audio editing program won't know where the track is supposed to fall in the actual mix. So in order, in order to trick Audacity into starting each export of the track at the 000 mark, here's a simple trick you can use. So just take your mouse and drag it from, pretty much just select a very small area of audio at the beginning. And then you can say generate silence. Audacity will automatically default to whatever length of time you selected here. So just hit OK. Do it again. Silence. And again. And now we have silence at the beginning of all of our tracks. It doesn't matter that we have this large gap here because as soon as there's any audio whatsoever, even if it's completely silent, Audacity will immediately export all of the audio following that. And it wouldn't actually matter if we had cut off the ends of these tracks. That wouldn't matter either for these purposes because it's okay if the end of the track is cut off. We just need it to start at the right time in our final mix in the other program. So now that we have that squared away, we're just going to export all the tracks as uh, separate files so we can import them into Reaper. So I'm gonna to go to the file menu and say export multiple. Now, let's talk for a minute about export format. You get a lot of options in Audacity, including AIFF, WAV, MP3, AUGVORBIS, FLAC, AAC, a whole bunch of different formats. Um, and I'm going to recommend that you choose FLAC format for two reasons. One, it's a lossless format, so you're going to get back exactly the audio that you had in Audacity. And two, it takes up less space than other lossless formats like AIFF and WAV because it's, despite being lossless, it's compressed. Now, you're not going to get the same types of really low file sizes that you would get from something like MP3 or AAC, but it will be about half the size of the equivalent WAV file, and you won't lose any audio quality that way. So I'm going to choose FLAC files, and I'm going to just choose the directory I want to export it into, in my case, I'm just going to export them to the place where this uh, where this project lives, and uh, I'm going to split files based on tracks. So that means that each track is going to be a separate FLAC file, and I'll just I'll use the uh, actually I, I want to choose numbering before the label or track name, and uh, the reason I want to do that is because that way I can have the exact same order of tracks that I had in Audacity and Reaper. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit export. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to ask me for every single one what kind of tagging I want. I don't really care very much about that because I'm just going to turn around and import them into Reaper anyway, so I'm just going to hit OK on everything. This will take a minute. 
but it shouldn't take very long to do, and it successfully exported the four files. This will obviously take longer if you have a bigger project, but this track, this project only has four tracks, so that's fine. Um, now I'm going to close out Audacity since I don't need to use it anymore for this. I don't need to save the changes. That was just for exporting. Now in my finder I have four different FLAC files, Drums, Season, Nat, and Jesse. Those were the tracks in my Audacity project. And I'm going to import them into Reaper. I'm just going to fire up Reaper here, and I've got a blank project already set up for me. So uh, I'm just going to take my four files from the finder and drag them right into Reaper. Reaper's going to ask if I want to import all my files in separate tracks, and yes I do, because that's the way they were in Audacity. And there you have it. Now I have four tracks in Reaper. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see them better. By the way, I did this in Finder because I'm using a Mac, but uh, if I were using a Windows machine, you could just do this from Windows Explorer the same way. Just drag the files right into Reaper. And let's listen. My grandpa says he's only Sounds good. 17. Susan's track starts on the same place that At it started in Audacity, which is what we want. So there you have it. That's how to import files from uh, Audacity into Reaper. And thanks for watching.